Bill Nye, the man of science, has long amazed people with his deep look into the wonders of the universe. His passion for exploring the mysteries of space has touched many hearts and sparked countless minds. He has spent years exploring the final frontier and unlocking secrets hidden far beyond the sky. Now he speaks out about the latest images from the James Webb Space Telescope. The JWST is not just another space tool. It is a scientific marvel that opens a window into deep time. It allows us to see the universe as it was more than 13 billion years ago, almost at its very birth. This telescope lets us look back in time and witness the formation of galaxies. With each image, the telescope shows us new planets, distant stars, and odd space phenomena. This makes it a true and worthy follow-up to the famous Hubble Space Telescope. So, why are the JWST images so special? What makes them challenge what we thought we knew? And what did Bill Nye say about these amazing discoveries? Let's take a closer look at what these findings mean for our view of the cosmos and even of life. The journey of the James Webb Space Telescope began after years of detailed planning by NASA scientists. There were many delays, but finally, it was launched on December 25, 2021, into the sky. Over the next few months, the telescope had to unfold and get ready for its big mission. By June 2022, it sent back its first stunning images of the universe. These images shocked scientists. They saw thousands of new galaxies. Some of these formed 150 million years before Hubble's oldest discoveries deep in space. This means we are now seeing some of the earliest structures ever made in the universe. Experts also used it to study exoplanets, stars, and celestial objects, finding out what they are made of. This helps us know if other worlds might support life like ours. Bill Nye said that the data from JWST is already changing how we see the cosmos. Its power to see infrared light lets it look deep into space and see what was once invisible. One of the most iconic Hubble photos is of the pillars of creation in the Eagle Nebula. Hubble showed us huge towers of gas and dust, but not what was inside these clouds. But now, with infrared power, JWST shows what is hidden within these towers. It revealed baby stars being born, called protostars, as small glowing red dots. These tiny new stars are many times larger than our solar system and are in early stages of life. Bill Nye says, this gives us real insight into how stars like our sun are born. As more gas and dust pull into the core, it gets hotter and denser inside the nebula. When the pressure is strong enough, nuclear fusion starts, turning hydrogen into helium and creating a shining star. The JWST image of the pillars shows how different infrared wavelengths can show hidden space structures. Each color in the image helps scientists know what is gas, what is dust, and where stars are forming. In the 1990s, we first discovered exoplanets, planets outside our own solar system. Today, we've confirmed over 3,000 planets orbiting other stars in the galaxy. But only about 1,000 of them have been directly imaged with any real clarity. Most are too far away, so we detect them when they dim their parent star's light. Now, the JWST has changed that by taking clear, direct images with amazing detail. In September 2022, it captured its first direct photo of a distant exoplanet. This planet, called HIP 65426b, was found in 2017 and is a gas giant 12 times bigger than Jupiter. It orbits its star 100 times farther out than Earth does, floating alone in the dark. Using special tools like coronagraphs, JWST blocked out the stellar light and saw the planet clearly. This breakthrough lets us now study the atmospheres of faraway worlds looking for signs of life. Another wonder is the Ghost Galaxy, also known as M74, a magical spiral galaxy. It's hard to see with the naked eye, but infrared photos make its full shape visible. The JWST image of M74 shows thin filaments of dust and gas flowing through its glowing center. Hubble mostly captured visible light, but JWST shows the deep details hidden in the arms. This helps scientists spot star-forming regions and study their mass, age, and chemical composition. Bill Nye believes these insights help explain how galaxies grow and change over billions of years. In December 2022, researchers announced something even more historic from deep space. The JWST had spotted four of the oldest galaxies ever seen, 
dating back 13.4 billion years. These formed when the universe was just 350 million years old, only 2% of its current age. To figure this out, scientists measured their redshift, a signal from the expanding universe. The higher the redshift, the farther and older the galaxy is in time. These are now the oldest known structures, proving galaxies started forming much earlier than once thought. Before the JWST, it wasn't clear if galaxies existed soon after the Big Bang. Now, we have hard proof that this happened very early in the life of the cosmos. Another exciting find came from a strange world called WASP-39b, located 700 light-years away in the constellation Virgo. This planet is a gas giant and orbits its star very closely, eight times closer than Mercury orbits the Sun. That makes WASP-39b extremely hot and an ideal target for atmospheric study in the blazing sky. Using powerful spectrographs, the JWST scanned its atmosphere to find what gases were floating in its hot clouds. It found clear signs of carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide, and even silicates, which shocked many scientists. The discovery of sulfur dioxide was especially historic, the first time this gas was seen on an exoplanet. This means chemical reactions similar to those on Earth can happen on faraway alien worlds. These thick clouds and gases are helping us learn how planets form and what makes them habitable. According to Bill Nye, this kind of study brings us closer to asking, are we alone in the universe? The answers may lie in these distant worlds where life might have started in a strange sky. The JWST is also looking into strange structures like nebulae, where new stars are forming every day. In these stellar nurseries, giant clouds of gas and dust swirl together in the cold of space. Some clouds collapse and form hot cores, which slowly grow into protostars. These hot spheres then heat up, and when the pressure is just right, nuclear fusion begins in their bright hearts. Soon they shine as new stars, bringing light to the dark universe. One of the most powerful things the JWST does is capture this very moment in deep time. It allows scientists to witness the birth of stars, galaxies, and maybe even the seeds of life. Every image from the JWST gives us a better map of the cosmic landscape we live in. The telescope also uncovered galaxies that look odd, unlike the spiral or elliptical shapes we often see. Some of them appear as lensed objects, warped by gravity from even more massive structures nearby. This effect, called gravitational lensing, is like nature's own telescope in the sky of space. It bends light and lets us see behind or beyond huge galaxy clusters. This tool has helped JWST see the earliest galaxies and even supernovae exploding far away. These bright explosions mark the death of massive stars and scatter important elements across space. Elements like carbon, oxygen, and iron needed for life are made in these fiery deaths. As Bill Nye puts it, we are made of star stuff, and now we are seeing those stars die in glowing color. With the JWST, scientists also look for signs of water on exoplanets, a key sign of life. They use the telescope's infrared spectroscopy tools to find water vapor in alien atmospheres. They've already spotted signs of water molecules in several distant worlds orbiting other stars. These discoveries make us wonder, could alien life exist in these far-off cosmic oceans? Every planet we study brings us closer to the biggest question ever asked in science. The JWST is not only a machine. It's a time machine and a light collector that unlocks the hidden universe. It's a project built by thousands of engineers, powered by math, physics, and human curiosity. Bill Nye reminds us that all this work was done so we could better understand our own place in the cosmos. He says that science is about asking questions and using tools like the JWST to search for answers. When we see a galaxy 13 billion light years away, we are looking into the past, across time and space. We are seeing photons of light that left before Earth even existed in the dark void. That is what makes each image from the JWST so humbling and beautiful to watch. The telescope's journey is far from over. It continues to point toward unknown stars and nebulae. In the years to come, it will likely spot more exoplanets, more strange structures, and even clues to the start of life. It may help us finally see a biosignature, a chemical sign that proves something is alive on another world. Imagine finding oxygen, methane, 
or even chlorophyll floating in the sky of a distant planet. That could be the moment we realize we are not alone in this vast cosmic sea. As Bill Nye says, this is the most exciting time in all of astronomy and space science. With tools like the JWST, our horizon keeps expanding beyond the stars we once thought were unreachable. These images are not just pretty, they are data, they are truth, and they are part of our story. They show us that we are part of something much bigger than our little blue planet. They remind us to keep asking questions, to stay curious, and to reach for the stars. As we continue this voyage, let's remember it is powered by human wonder and the light of ancient galaxies. So every time you look up at the night sky, know that somewhere JWST is looking back, searching for the next great discovery. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.